after completing the image option we are going to teach you the other option which is called within this image options there is a called mode option within this mode options we are the first watching the grayscale grayscale is particularly used for getting the black and white picture now almost there is one option is showing discard color information press ok the whole image is considered as a black and white picture now minimize that one and going to select the color like red color show the brush now we are going to paint and whatever the color we have to choose that is also treat as a black and white now we are going to open a new image now we are going to move that particular colorful image into the grayscale mode but when it is entered into the grayscale image that image also treated as a grayscale mode now we are going to close that file this image option is too much important for the digital image designer now another option which is called the RGB color this color mode is uh, stand for red green and blue this is most important color combination for the digital image designer and this is used for the printing purpose digital image printing or photo printing now when that mo mode is on RGB mode is on and we are going to apply anything like any color and we are going to just draw anything using the brush tool that particular color will be shown now once again select the image file going to open it now we are going to apply uh, the another option which is called the adjustment options the first one is levels in this level options we are watching three flag the first one is for the shadows second is second is stands for the midtone and the third one is stands for the highlighted area now if I just adjust that flag and move towards the right hand side we can see over the image the shadow is increasing and left hand side moving the shadow is decreasing same goes for the midtones midtones is increasing removing pulling it towards the left hand side and making it dark towards the right hand, right hand side now same thing goes for the highlighted area pulling it towards the left hand side the highlighted portion is highlighting more and once again right hand side is the same position as it was in previous time now press ok now once again we are going to the image options we are going to the auto levels that auto level options automatically just adjust with the image which is highlighted midtone and shadows now we are going to teach you the other options which is called the auto contrast which is all call shift control L to pressing that one it's automatically adjusting the contrast now once again going to the adjustment area and selecting the auto color that options is treat the whole image to automatically adjust the color now within this image options and adjustment options we are getting the curve options now within this curve options we can see the three vertex points the first one is for the highlighted area of an image to adjusting towards the up we are increasing the highlighted area now there is another point that is called the shadow of an image to moving towards the right hand side down it's just increasing and there's another point in the midpoint which is 
towards the we can move towards the diagonic diagonally or increasing towards the up its brightness increasing and pulling towards the down its contrast is increasing now other options within this channel box there is a called red blue green selecting the red one and pulling the mid tone vertex increasing the red color over the whole image and decreasing the red color pulling the vertex down now same goes for the green increasing the green area pulling that one decreasing the green point pulling it down now there is another options called the blue uh, blue options increasing the blue mid tone and pulling down decreasing the blue one and making with the other colors now press okay now once again select the image options go to the adjustments now there is another options which is called the color balance now that within that option box we are watching there is a four options called the right hand side red left hand side cyan right hand side green left hand side magenta right hand side blue left hand side yellow to increasing the right hand side we have to pull the flag towards the right red option and increasing the red color and pulling that one towards the cyan that means cyan color is increasing and red color is decreasing same goes for the green to pulling towards the green the green color is increasing to pulling towards the magenta the magenta is increasing same goes for the blue and yellow when the mid tones is on that means the total image the total image is adjusting according to your changing the flag according the to your uh, tone balance option you can change your color whatever you feel if it is shadow is on then only the shadow portions is going to adjust if it is green if it is red or if it is yellow if the highlighted highlights option is on then only the bright full area is going to adjust with the color if it is magenta magenta is increasing if it is green green is increasing if it is yellow or blue blue is increasing or the yellow is increasing now press okay or you can press alt option and press reset button now press okay now after completing the adjustment color adjustment we are going to the once again the second option man options which is called the brightness and contrast options we can adjust the brightness and contrast according to our choice if the image is too much dull we can increase the brightness if the image is too much dark we can decrease the contrast if it is dull then we can increase the contrast and we can adjust the image according to our wish now after completing the brightness and contrast uh, contrast options we are going to the next options which is called hue and saturation option that is particularly used like hue is only to change the color different different color different color and saturation is changing the depth of the color it's a decreasing and this is the middle point the lightness is just in decreasing the brightness and right hand side increasing the brightness now press okay control z control to z first now after completing that one we're going to once again the adjustment options there is another options which is called the desaturate shift control u the shortcut but here the difference is the whole image is going to convert in a black and white picture or the black and white photo but the mode is same like the rgb mode 
Now control alt z for the step backward. Now after completing that option we are going to open a new image to show within that image options the another options within that adjustment box there is a call replace color now there is a in that image we can see the three color depth one is blue one is a uh, little bit gray a uh, little bit reddish gray and one other is water color which is a reflecting color suppose we are going to change the sky color now we have to select just click with the eyedropper tools and there is another options called the fuzziness fuzziness means it just covering the area that selection area is increasing increasing the flag or the value of the fuzziness now we can change the color changing the hue and we can get different colors now saturation is for the depth of the color and lightness is used for the brightness or increasing the brightness or decreasing the brightness of that particular image now press ok now control to z now once again we are going to see the other options within that image options for that reason we already open one image file go to the image option go to the adjustment go to the selective color selective color is only to change the one particular single color within that image if we are going to change the green color then select the color toolbar select the green colors and change the cyan option and it's continuously changing the green is going to change we can see over the preview over the image it's already changing okay now we can change the red color also now red area is going to change of that particular image now we can see the difference now press ok now we are going to close that file now once again going to open an image maximize it select the image going to the adjustment going to the gradient map now click over the color and select according to your choiceable gradient press ok now here also press ok now go to the edit options go to the fade gradient map and you can change the opacity of that particular gradient yes now we can see what is the use of gradient map okay now press ok and close the close that file before closing we are going to say once again going to open once again we are going to open a new image now there is a option within this image option that is called the invert control i it just do the negative of that particular photo now control to z for now within that image options there is another options called the equalize click on that it's just equalizing the color brightness contrast hue saturation everything equally control to z for step backward now sometimes we can see some artist just sketch some pictures for that one there is one options called the threshold options we can see 
the black and white which is looks like a sketch of that particular Vaisharya image we can increase the brightness and contrast I mean black and white portions to moving the flag press ok and control to Z for step backward now within that image drop down tool there is another option which is called the posterize posterize means there is level options where you can give the value if you give the value to only the two color is just highlighting if it is three color three color is highlighting if it is four four color is highlighting if it is ten ten color is highlighting it depends upon you which color combination you want press ok control to it for the step backward now within that image options and within the adjustments there is another option called the variations here this is the original picture which is before the before applying the effect and right hand side that is after applying the effect within that options we can see so many more color more green that is actually the color combinations and in the middle current pick is for the main one which is going to affect it now we are going to give the more yellow more magenta more blue more cyan cyan is more now here the lighter lightness is small this is the darkness is more and the middle one is the current pick that means that is the current picture which is getting affected after applying the effect now press ok we can see the preview of that particular image now control to Z for step backward now after completing the adjustment tools we are going to the other more options which is called the duplicate option duplicate is nothing but to get the same type of image once again just press ok and we can get the same type of image and there is a other option we can get as much as you can now going to close one by one we can make the duplicate multiple times now there is another option called the image size apply image which is not required but apply image is required for the digital image composer now when the constant proportion when the constant proportion is on then we can give the value and the height is automatically adjusted with the width and we can see the difference the image size now control the Z for the step backward once again we are going to the image size and we are going to off of the constant proportions we are just giving the value of the width we can see what's the difference the height is already there as like as before just only the width is changed we just because that particular options is off now control the Z for the step backward now within that image options there is a one more options which is called the rotate canvas rotate canvas 180 degree that means the whole file is going to rotate 180 degree under the Z once again going to the image rotate canvas 90 degree CW going to the clockwise and once again go to the rotate canvas 90 degree CCW anti-clockwise rotating once again rotate canvas flip canvas horizontally the image is horizontally flipped it's like the mirror type flip canvas vertically the whole file has vertically flipped now within that image option there is another option called the crop to know that one you have to select the mercury tool and make one selections over the image and without that feather option or feather value we have to select the crop and that selected area has cropped now control the set for the step backward